What are these circular ports that cover a 4 feet subfloor in a 90 year old theater? They don't go all the way through, they're kind of like manholes, but a bit too small to be used like that, and they all come up directly underneath seats. They're only in the center 6 seats, but they're in every row that I can see. Sorry, I couldn't get close enough to read any text. I'm a heating, ventilation, and air conditioning engineer, and worked in two 1930s theaters in the last few years. This is part of the heating and ventilation system. There is a space below the floor which air is blown into. These things let the air move up into the theater itself. What is this power supply I found in a kitchen drawer? It is some sort of power supply with a three-prong input, and then a DC output. I found it in a kitchen drawer which makes me think it belongs to an appliance. We have a dishwasher and overrange microwave. I imagine that's for the microwave for when it's used countertop instead of mounted and hardwired. Those are just terminal blocks, no rectification. So AC to AC. The insides of various things use Molex connectors for various interconnections including power. What is this heavy blown glass with thick loops and similar sized holes on the bottom? Bought at different thrift stores months apart. What are their functions? These are hummingbird feeders. The stopper or feeding tube is broken. You fill it with sugar water and hang it from the loop. What is this thing we found in the woods? It is heavy, maybe cast iron, looks to hang up. The inscription is all on the top of the arm. Thread it on the point and split. Any ideas? It's an old insulator bracket or pin. Old insulators were necessary by serving as a medium for attaching the wires to the poles, but much more importantly, they were required to help prevent electric current loss during transmission. What is this metal object, bent at 90 degrees with a hole in the end and stamp Germany? It is in Montana, at least 20 years old, and I have no idea what it's for. It's a tongue depressor. It is a tool used in medical practice to depress the tongue to allow for examination of the mouth and throat. I remember making them during my apprenticeship, but without the hole. As far as I remember it was called a tobold. What is this device hung on the wall with a metal arm on a hinge? Spikes on the end of the arm, including one which screws in and out. It is on a wooden board with a metal arm and spikes at the end of the arm. My friend found it at a garage sale. These are for holding the cured pork leg on a tabletop for slicing thin slices by hand, not displaying on the wall. In Spain, lots of families have one for the Christmas holidays. What are these large metal tubes found while skiing in the Alps? We noticed those tubes while skiing in Bad Gastein, Austria. There were maybe six of them surrounding the perimeter of this mountain. They could also be found on other nearby mountains, but in lower numbers. Any ideas? It's for avalanche control. It basically fires an avalanche explosion out of the end of the tube. What is this one handle thing found in tool building? It's about 5 feet long and has a wooden brown color handle like on a shovel. The casting says patented July 16, 1907. It's pretty robust and weighs about 8 pounds. Could be some kind of pry thing but seems specialized, especially with a patent number on it. I volunteer at our local museum and have seen something quite similar in the railroad collection. I believe this is a bar used to nudge box cars forward or back for coupling. I found one on eBay, and it's an antique 1907 wood iron rail lift hammer. White saucer shaped foam filled plastic object, weighs 3.3 pounds, found in the woods in Virginia. The scratches appear to be teeth marks from an animal, seems pretty durable. My child has thrown it down on the driveway repeatedly, and it seems no worse for wear. It's the float from a stock waterer, it seals the opening in the top of the waterer keeping it clean and it warmer in the winter to prevent freezing. Cattle or horses push it down to get a drink. I found this monocular at a local thrift store. Together with what seems like a matching artillery scope, the scope has no markings, and the monocular has some, but I was unable to find anything conclusive on Google. 
It looks like an artillery aiming circle with the legs removed. This is a World War One era Gortz Field artillery aiming circle. What is this plastic gasoline can? Slathered in grease with a bag attached found near a lake in remote Maine. I found this contraption hanging from a tree a few feet from a lake shoreline on the outskirts of a national wildlife refuge in a remote part of Maine. While camping is prohibited in the area, I know people do camp there from time to time. Deer flies are attracted to blue things. Maybe this is some sort of deer fly trap contraption. What are these sets of 19 bronze pomegranate-shaped objects in a science lab? They are hollow and light, with a peg-like thing holding them to the wooden base. They have numbers, but we can't see them because they're on a high shelf. I believe these are Helmholtz resonators. They are used in architectural acoustics to reduce undesirable low-frequency sounds by building a resonator tuned to the problem frequency, thereby eliminating it. It was introduced in 1863 by German scientist Hermann von Helmholtz. I found these black rectangle plastic pieces with a black strap attached to them. Found dozens of these after the company moved. The plastic pieces are about 11 by 9 centimeters. There are a few spikes on one side, and the strap can slide as well. It's a sidewinder box handle. They are box handles, you can put them through the holes from outside the box. I found it under the driver's seat of a 2018 Honda CRV. Very heavy metal, with no letters or numbers, four Allen key bolts on the one side, shaped much like a doorstop overall. What is it? It's a lathe tool holder, a machine shop made for a specific setup in a lathe. The square shank bit went in the small groove, and you can see dog screw marks on the edge of the large rectangle. What are these square metal tubes with magnets glued in one end that apparently stick to square bases? One side of the tube is open, no markings, they are very light, the magnets are pretty strong. We received a set as a gift from my mother-in-law. We used to have these. They are magnetic single-stem flower vases that will bring a breathtaking effect to your dinner table, suitable for both real and artificial flowers. What's the purpose of this target disc on a metal frame? Seen on Koh Phae Phae Coast in Thailand. It's a 4 meter metal frame, a big disc on top, there's a camera on top, light or whatever optical device. The device and disc are facing the ocean and another similar thing across the bay. Seen at Low Ba Khao Bay. It's part of the Indian Ocean Tsunami Warning System. If there are ships directly on the path of an impending tsunami, these tsunami warning systems would help the captains of these ships to alter their course and thus averting a loss. This is buried in the backyard, made of metal and roughly 18 inches in diameter. What is it? Tell us in the comments. Thanks for watching. Let's make life fun.